Hi, I'm Emil Fowry, a British Olympic dressage rider. For me, the shoulder in is one of the basic movements that I expect all my horses to be able to execute well. I once heard Jan Bemmelmann say, and Jan Bemmelmann is a very, very famous German trainer, and I once heard him say that a horse that can do a good shoulder in can do anything. And in a way that's very true, because it means that your horse is technically very correct on the aids if he can do a good shoulder in, and that is what we're all after. So, for me the most important thing to remember in shoulder in is that the clue is in the name shoulder in and not quarters out. The first thing that you have to remember is that in a technically correct executed shoulder in, the hind legs of the horse should trot forward in a straight line and it's the shoulder that has to be angled in off the track. The common mistake that most riders make in riding the shoulder in is again the dreaded inside rein. People asking for bend and the shoulders to come in off the inside rein. It is merely a positioning and I will try and demonstrate to you now how that I managed to get my horses to come in the shoulder in without necessarily taking on the inside rein. First and foremost we have to remember that shoulder in has to be ridden in collected trot. So I will go forwards to trot and I will now expect my horse to come a bit more collected. And then out of the corner, on the long side, I will go into shoulder in, making sure that my shoulders are parallel to that of the horse and making sure that the hind legs move in a straight line on the track. For me, the importance of whether I'm on three or four tracks, really, that depends on the quality of the bend. If the quality of my bend is good enough, then whether they slightly on four tracks or not, really doesn't matter a great deal to me. However, if I've got wrong bend, that means that four tracks become too wide in the angle. Also, Remember, I'm not asking from my inside leg. It's a positioning of the shoulder and therefore making sure that I sit central in my saddle and that the horse is trotting in a nice, even, collected rhythm. Another common mistake is, is that riders ride with too much inside leg through the corner and therefore the horse has no option but to fall with the quarters out onto the I always think straight and position shoulder in so the secret of a good shoulder in is in the way of going of the horse and in this case making sure that he's in collection making sure he's in front of me and then not to push the quarters out from the corner straight and position shoulders in. That I do with a slight positioning of my own shoulders to make sure I'm parallel and therefore my horse comes with not too much neck bend. The moment that you have too much neck bend you lose the ability to keep the shoulders in and you lose the ability of control. Right, so a recap again on this rein. First of all, make sure that my horse is in collection, in front of me, out the corner, straight, and position shoulder in. And ride purely the hind legs forwards, and make sure that I'm not pushing the quarters out with the inside leg. Making sure that my bend is not false, that it comes through flexion, and not through taking on the inside rein. And straight and position shoulder in and make sure that my horse is swinging through the back and that there's a nice definition in the flexion is what gives the movement the definition. Good boy. So, most important thing to remember, making sure that my horse is in front of me, correctly on the aids, and do not push the quarters out of the corner, sideways to the wall, because that is not shoulder in, that becomes leg yielding.